They're some of the fiercest animals on the planet, steely-eyed, sharp-toothed, stealthy predators that can appear without warning. Watch out, Jeremiah. Careful, guys. They're coming in from every direction now. This is not good. Watch out, hammer. Sharks strike fear into just about everyone, except this guy, Jeremiah Sullivan. I don't know that I'm the shark man. I, I'm just another guy. A marine biologist, Sullivan has been studying sharks closely for decades, very closely. Big tiger coming in slow but deliberate. Yep, she's trying to push past me. Wow! Whoa, she's coming back already. Hang on now. 40 years ago, he created the shark suit, a protective armor that would allow him to study sharks free of cages. I felt it was important to study these animals in their own environment, not from within the confines of a cage, which can alter the very behavior that you're trying to study. The early suits were created using medieval chain mail, weighing nearly 20 pounds, but they've never been able to withstand the biggest shark bites. So now, he's putting his latest version of the suit to the test in the Nat Geo show, Man vs. Shark. Look at the force on that! No cages. Got a hold of it. Oh. No second chances. These sharks are going nuts already. Just man Watch out. versus shark. You're putting your own body on the line, risking your own life for this. You know, I don't consider it that kind of a threat because I have so much familiarity with what's going on. I had a pretty significant level of confidence that this new type of armor would work. What I'm trying to do is to get away from all the, the old chain mail. This is the old suit. The old chain mail, and you'll notice the difference here between blackmail and, uh, and the old style shark suits, when you're making chum, when you're baiting sharks in down at the bottom, mm. frequently the shark sides are silvery, you know, and they look just like this. So if you've got a piece of fish in your hand, it looks very similar to your hand. So as that shark comes in for the fish, he could easily chew on you. I will never wear a silver bathing suit again. <laughs> now the, the, uh, the future suits are something entirely different. You see how heavy this metal is. They're heavy, they're expensive, they're quite durable, but they're not perfect. I'm shifting over to these advanced laminates. It looks kind of like a shin guard. Uh, here, you can put it, on, put it on this arm here like that. So you can see what happens. Nothing is going to be able to get anywhere through you here. To test it, Sullivan engages with some of the most dangerous sharks known to man. Jeremiah. Oh. oh, that was a close one. Even baiting tiger sharks to determine their bite force. Tiger coming in. Got it. 180 pounds. They're a big shark, powerful shark. They eat most anything. Their teeth, as we had, uh, as as you can see here are quite different. They've got this backward edge. They're a thicker tooth, and they're used to biting into things that are harder, like turtles. This is the species that you hear the famous stories about that ate a keg of nails or license plates or all that. That's tiger sharks. In his final test, Jeremiah, wearing a version of his new armor, gets bitten by a tiger shark on purpose. They're getting all ripped up. Careful, guys. They're coming in from every direction now. This is not good. After meeting Jeremiah, I suited up for my own close encounter with the sharks at the Long Island Aquarium. Sharks. Moment of truth. We are swimming with sharks, and as great as Jeremiah's suit sounds, I'm pretty glad to be in this cage. Oh! I can't believe how close he is right now. How many sharks are in this tank? There's 10 total. That one caught me by surprise a little bit. They kind of sneak up on you. Yeah, they're silent, silent hunters. You don't see them coming. OK, that's enough shark experience for me. Back on dry land, I get some practical tips from the shark whisperer. The golden rule with the shark divers generally is that it's the shark you don't see that's going to bite you. If you're in the water and you encounter a shark, are there things you can do to stay safe? Yes, yes. If you're in murky water, it's very dangerous. I stay out of murky water for that reason when I know there are sharks in the area that are potentially biters. Okay, so murky water is a no-go. But at the same time, 
if you can see sharks, so if it's, if it's clear water, something's swimming around, coming up close to you, if you panic and move around in, in an erratic way, you look like a struggling fish or an animal that may be injured or sick. That's what predators look for. So in the ocean, if sharks do come around, it's very easy, if you can stay cool and focused, to simply redirect them away from you. It's that simple. Key words, if you can stay cool, which not a lot of people can do when they're face to face with a shark. I, I, I know that probably sounds silly, but that's the best chance you got. As more people flock to the oceans, close encounters will only become more common. Is there something that humans in general can do to mitigate this increase that's happening? No. Uh, inform yourself. That's really that's really all you can do. You can't expect the sharks not to behave like sharks at, in their you know in their home. For Nightline, I'm Diane Macedo in Riverhead, New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.